for all the talk of levelling up, we've heard in the past few years, nearly half of the kids in my region leave primary school unable to read or write. So something is seriously wrong, isn't it? Because it's not the teachers, let's face it. It's no good investing billions of pounds later on in shiny buildings and infrastructure projects, creating many, many new jobs and businesses if our people don't have the relevant skills to work in them. So the fact is that we have, we still have, a two-tier system that exists in this country. Too many people's fates are decided before they even set school in the classroom. Their future is determined by the wealth of their parents or the postcode that they come from. And in 2020, for example, only 5% of pupils on free school meals in our region achieved grade five or above in GCSE, English and Maths, compared with 30% nationally. So that just can't be tolerated. And you're going to hear from Graham Duncan shortly uh, about what his organisation does, but I just want to touch briefly on the pioneering project we're running with them in the Liverpool city region. It's called Cradle to Career. You might hear a bit about this uh, today. It's a pilot scheme that we've been supporting in a place called Birkenhead in my region. Uh, it was instigated and made possible by the Steve Morgan Foundation and Shine, but it's specifically targeted at those areas of deprivation where kids are being held back by circumstances. It's a radical and bespoke approach that works with the community to identify the issues and come up with solutions. Uh, and in, short, in a short space of time, its results have been marked. Nearly a year gained in reading uh, above the expected rates a reduction uh, in cases being referred to social services compared with the, the border average, and a third more social care cases being stepped down uh, in the world as a whole. Now we've been so impressed by its impact that we've recently approved a further £5 million of funding to roll this out across the city of 